If you are a high income earner and have not filed a tax return, now might be your last chance to come into compliance before severe penalties or even worse. On February 29th, 2024, the IRS announced a new initiative aimed at high income non-filers people that were earning $400,000 or more per year, but not filing tax returns. The IRS is specifically looking at the years 2017 through 2021 and people who have not filed tax returns at all. Um, although that might be surprising, there is a great number of people. In fact, the IRS has said that over 125,000 people will receive new letters from the IRS warning them of their non-filing and asking them to file a tax return. And that is a form CP-59. And so the CP-59 notice has been going out, has started to go out and will continue to be going out for the next weeks and months to over 125,000 people who have not filed tax returns. This includes people who make over 400,000 and over a million dollars per year. And so how has the IRS identified this? Well, the IRS gets information from a variety of sources, including 1099s and W-2s um, from employers and financial institutions. And so if any of this information was reported to the IRS, the IRS knows generally what to expect on your tax returns. And if you haven't reported or filed, and yet the IRS has this information, you might basically have a target on your back uh, asking for the IRS. Um, because they have this information and you haven't filed. And so that's what we're seeing now with uh, these notices being sent, is that the IRS is targeting specifically the high income earners who have not filed and giving them a warning through this letter. But in our view, this is basically your last chance. We've seen in the past that after the IRS has issued these types of warning letters, that it has followed with audits and even criminal investigations. And so for those that are high income and have large amounts of tax, if you haven't reported, haven't paid, haven't filed your tax returns, you might be looking at severe penalties, interest, or even a criminal investigation. So now would be the time to get all your records together, file your tax returns, pay the tax, these notices have generally provided 90 days for a response. And so I would strongly encourage you to use that time, get your tax returns in order, file them. Uh, because the IRS, again, has most of this information. So it's not as if you're sharing something that they don't know. Um, but if you don't respond, you're at even higher risk for these additional penalties or, or worse. Um, for a lot of people, going back several years could be quite difficult. Maybe you don't have your records anymore. Through working with a tax professional, in many cases, you can get a lot of the records that the IRS has, or get the same records the IRS has. So that way you can file tax returns consistent with those records and hopefully avoid further scrutiny. Um, we've seen in the past that letters like this have been sent to people that have uh, not reported things like cryptocurrency on their tax returns, yet the IRS received information from exchanges on crypto activity. And as I had mentioned in these cases, often after the letter follows audits, further notices, um, and penalties. So definitely makes sense to get ahead of that. If you're watching this video and you think that uh, you might be getting one of these notices or you've received one of these notices, it's definitely time to talk to a tax professional. Um, it makes sense to try to be proactive and not let the IRS come to you. If you know someone that might benefit from this video, uh, please share it with them. Thank you very much for watching.